Hey guys, today we're going to look at how you would loop over an object in JavaScript. We always loop over arrays in JavaScript, but what if you needed to like access each property in an object? You could do something like loop over it, so let's have a look how we would do that. First of all, we'll set up an object. Let's call it my object. Inside that, we'll have a name of Ray. Have a location of just test for now and we'll have a height of 6.3 so how would we access each property in this object all at once we could loop over it okay and what we do is we use this syntax for the ver and we give a reference to what we want each property to be referenced by in the loop so let's just for now to make it clear say x in which object we're going to loop over my object so let's go ahead and console.log x to see what x actually is. So as you can see there, it gives us access to each property in the object. But you notice that we don't have the actual value there, the value of each property. So how would we go about displaying that? So we do get x there, which is the key. So let's go ahead and access the value. So we know that this is the key. So how do we access the value? It's as simple as doing the object's name. Now we use our array-like syntax here to access the key. So we just pass the key, which in this case for each one is x. And we'll say this is the values. And if we rerun this, you'll see that we now have the key and we also have the values. So just to wrap back up here on this syntax, first of all, we have a simple object called my object, which has three properties, name, location, and height, and they all have individual values. To loop over that object and access the key and the values of the object, we use this loop-like syntax. And we say for ver x, x is representing each key in the object. We could call this whatever we wanted, but we just call it x for now. In is the keyword to see which object you're referencing. So my object, and as we just did here, we just did some simple console.logs. X will give us the key. To get the value of each key, we give the object name, and we pass it the key. So I hope this helps you out, guys, if you're wondering how you could loop over an object in JavaScript. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.